Well, hello and welcome to the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and I hope that you are having a delightful day today. Today, we will be looking at the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, verses 28 through 34. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well done, teacher. You are right in saying, He is one, and there is no other than He. And to love Him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that He answered with understanding, He said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask Him any more questions. Today, in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, verses 28 through 34, we hear Jesus getting down to the bottom line. Recall at the beginning of this passage, a scribe asks Jesus, which of God's commands is the greatest of all? For context, here in chapter 12, Mark has Jesus answering direct questions with direct answers. And these occur right before the passage we read today. In Mark 12, verse 13, Jesus responds to a question about paying the tax to Caesar. In Mark 12, verse 18, he answers a question about marriage after the resurrection of the dead. But here we have the ultimate question, what law is most important? And in some ways, I would have thought Jesus might have answered this the same way a parent might answer the question, which of your children do you love the most? In other words, you'd say, well, they are all important. One is not above the rest. They all have value. And ultimately, perhaps saying, that's a hard question. Let me think about it. But no, that is not what happens. Upon hearing this question, I can almost See Jesus smile, his face relaxed, and his eyes expressing confidence. The scripture says, Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. But he doesn't stop there. Remember, the question was, What is the greatest? What is the first? He doesn't stop there. He adds, The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. And although he was asked about the first, these two answers mean that these two are together. He's putting these two together. Together they sit separated in God's expectations of us and how we are to live our lives. As I reflect on this passage, the thought that comes to me is... In our human nature as physical beings, we have a natural urge for self, self self-satisfaction, self-promotion, self-preservation, self-comfort, and the like. In other words, humans do spend a lot of effort thinking about ourselves, our warmth, our security, our happiness, our safety, our self-actualization, our appearance, our status, etc., etc., etc. And in this way, we become small g gods to ourselves because of the focus on ourselves. So what I hear Jesus saying in his answer to the scribe is, number one, worship, love, fear, revere, the big G God, the creator of the universe, the I am, the Alpha, and the Omega. Do that as the first. But also the second. 
love, and treat each other with the same energy, focus, priority, patience, understanding, and care that you give to your own self. The first rises our eyes up to the big G God in heaven whose love descends down from above. The second lowers our eyes to each other and grounds us here in our experience on earth. Love the Lord God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Amen and Alleluia. Thank you for joining the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and remember, our word of the day is love God and love your neighbor. Until next time, be well and be blessed.